Hey everybody, Matt Berg here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Ben Temple Smith's Original Hate. Yeah, man, I uh, was watching this guy on a live stream on one of uh, uh, the Skits uh, uh, YouTube channel, and I really was really drawn into the book. I come to find out that um, the creator was the co-creator of 30 Days a Night, which is a, a comic book that's really awesome and a, and a movie I, I own. It's a badass vampire movie. Uh, if you haven't seen that, check it out. I highly recommend it. But yeah, I backed this book. I think it was uh, probably about a year ago, maybe. I, I mean, it's been sitting on my pile for a while, but yeah, it, it came with this awesome dusk jacket and um, this uh, really cool uh, bookmark right here. And it's a it's a thick book, man. Hardcover too. So um, yeah, man, a really really cool package. I think it was only like forty bucks or something like that. Um, this is yeah. So it's uh, it's it's you know it's a, basically like a one man show. He does the, he writes it and he uh, does the art. And um, the art's really cool. It's a uh, he's, he's definitely got his own style. Um, the basic premise is, uh, what if, you know, we found Neanderthals and we thawed them out and <laughs> the la what, 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 what the last thing was that happened to them was, you know, basically they were, they were, they were getting killed off. You know, we don't really know what happened in Neanderthals and, you know, in, in real life, but in here, this is basically that theory. Some think that maybe, uh, with a lot of help from, from the, the canine man's best friend, the dog is what really helped us, uh, er eradicate the the Neanderthal, but this horrific um, depiction is, is another take on it, and it's very original. Um, it, it starts out with these two um, guys are um, hiking out in the out in the wilderness, and um, the this guy is trying to look for his his sister, and um, you know he's just they're, they're just trying to push forward, and um, you know the uh, his buddy he's like Sean, hurry up, hurry up, man. They're right behind us, damn it. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Please don't. <laughs> Fuck. There's a big old spear goes through right through there. Look, 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 look. Just getting taken out, man. You know, and uh, just ripped apart. Rip, 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 rip. <laughs> so you're, you're trying to figure out what is that, you know. You, you Obviously, you know, it's it's probably what you think it, the, the title of the book is. Um, and then it jumps in, you know. A little, a little, a little somewhere else in the story. I don't want to depict what time it is, but you have these, um, basically like scientists. They're they're looking for a discovery, and you know, lo and behold, they they find this. Um, after that, they we jump to the to this um, college. And you have these two professors. They're talking about basically Neanderthals, and they're trying to get another grant. And um, the main character in the story is uh, this lady right here, and she. He gets propositioned with a job um, where, she, you know, she can't, basically, it's like an offer she can't, like, refuse. And it's from, like, these, these like, rich, uh, kind of, like, 1% types that, basically, they, they found the, uh, they found the uh, Neanderthals. And um, they take her to the facility, and she has to get ready. Like, she needs to be ready in six hours. So she has, like, you know, like, five seconds to make the deal of her life to, to go there. Um, and she, she does it, and they take her there. And... They just they show her you know what what she's been basically studying her whole life and now she has a chance to go face to face with it and examine it so she's got like beyond her her, her dream come true, um, but little does she know that she might have a uh, bit off more than she can handle. Um, we jump to uh, this scene right here where they're in the process of thawing the uh, the uh, the uh, Neanderthal out. And uh, little does she know that this isn't the first one, but there's actually more that's been thought out. And some of them can speak English, and they're highly intelligent. All of them are highly intelligent. Um, we jump back to like the last memory of what you know one of these uh, one of these Neanderthal had, and it's about you know the cavemen hunting them and taking them out and killing their babies and their families, and it's pretty heavy. Uh, this is One Eye. He's uh, He's like one of the main uh, Neanderthals in the book. Uh, he's 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 my favorite. But uh, there's another one called Stripe that she 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 uh, basically befriends and they they communicate with each other. And what happens next after these few pages, man? You guys got to check it out. Uh, the action here is is um, outstanding. It's uh you know it's full of, uh, of horror and gore and scares and uh, it's actually got a little bit of action adventure. A little bit of um, he he basically put a lot in here. I, I don't want to tell you all the other different things that he put in here because it's just going to spoil the story. But man, I definitely give this book two horns way up. Um, let me see if I could jump to the back so you guys could see some of the uh, some of the uh, behind the scenes stuff. Uh, 
uh, okay, here we go. Look at this. He he does a lot of like um, traditional art. Then he'll he'll add layers to it, like right here. Some of the coloring and uh, digital. I love I love this stuff, man. It just really he's really got that that horror horror side to it, man. It really it really pairs up perfectly with the the book. But uh, yeah, this was on uh, Indiegogo. I backed it, and um, yeah, there's a little foreshadow of what may or may not come. But definitely, you guys, you guys got to check this book out. It's called Original Hate, and uh, yeah, Two Horns Way Up. Uh, if you guys want to, uh, it's gonna be coming. It's gonna be coming around um, probably uh, ooh, pretty soon. It's you know, it's in um, it's an incoming soon mode. So you guys can come here. I'll give you a link in the description. It's for it's for his website. So you can come here to, to Ben Temple Smith's website, and uh, you know he sells comics on here. It's art. It's pretty pretty awesome. You guys can come check it out. If you guys want, you like horror, you might like my book. It's called Butch Cleaver. It's about a, a brutal butcher who gets killed and he's brought back to life by a voodoo curse, and that curse gives him the power to weaponize bone. Um, so if you know you're into spaghetti westerns, Hammer, Swamp Thing, uh, Jonah Hex, you might like this book. Um, we've got a few copies left, and uh, yeah. Um, I have the first graphic novel and the second graphic novel right now. Um, there's going to be a lot of tchotchkes to the next person, next few people that pick them up, but they're running out. So if you guys want to come check it out, I'll leave it in the, um, I'll leave it, uh, a link in the description. And, uh, yeah, I was at the beer store today and I came upon this, uh, Bigfoot ale. Now I've had this, but it's been years. I can't remember the last time I drank it. So, um, I believe it used to be like a 9%. So it's, it's been a while. So I figured it'd be perfect for the review and, I was thinking about um, you know Bigfoot and the and the missing link of of total hate and uh, I'm sorry original hate and uh, and that's such a good good title for a book and uh, it made me think of this and this is nine point six percent it's a barley wine um, something different uh, which I like I'm tired of drinking the IPs all the time but you know it's good it's good to do this and I thought it would pair up well with it I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a crack at it let you look at this and this really cool uh, bookmark right here. Yeah, I love his style though, man, where he, he does the original art and then he um he uh, adds the color to it uh, digitally. It's nice, like, I don't know, something, something different. It's pretty cool. Uh, in the book, I like his take on the Neanderthals too. A little minor spoiler is that they are night hunters. They're basically like, um you know, they, they, they only hunt at night. And uh, I think that they can see in the dark as well. So, um yeah, that's... Forget the word it escapes me. Nocturnal. <laughs> That's the word. Um, but yeah, you guys, you guys definitely gotta check it out. Oh, man, this smells really piney. From my from from what I remember, it's kinda like drinking a pine forest. And you got a little Bigfoot chill in the corner. Mmm. Mm, yeah. It's not as it's not as strong as I um as I remember. It's still pretty pretty piney. It's pretty sharp at the end. I remember drinking this back in the day. I, I would get a headache just drinking it, but we'll see what's up. I'll let you guys know. Um, yeah, it tastes pretty good. I give a uh, Bigfoot, Sierra Nevada, two horns way up. Thanks for watching, folks. Thanks for watching the live streams and uh, the, for the creators coming on. Um, it's been awesome. You guys have a, a great weekend. Be bold, be brave, and remember, roll the bones to know your roll. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.